Hi there beauties, I have a Sephora VIB sale haul for you guys. I have actually filmed this out three times so I'm leaving my products out. I had the doorbell ring once and then my phone rang once and now I have a delivery coming from Pier 1. So I'm going to try to get through this really quick and not have to refilm any of this or try to edit out any weird parts but let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I went to Sephora and I got this really adorable uh, little tote bag that they were handing out on the one, I think it was a one day, I think, I can't remember, but I did pick that up um, with a couple goodies inside the store with a couple friends. So first I want to talk about the first product that I did get. This is the NARS All Day Luminous in the color Santa Fe. This is a um, medium coverage foundation that actually can be built up to full coverage. Um, I do want to say with this foundation, uh, if you have fine lines, you're going to want to set it with powder immediately after you kind of get the, the layers done, you kind of let it sit for a second, and then I would powder. For me, this does settle in fine lines, but it gives really nice coverage and that really nice luminous um, luminous look. That's the, the word I'm looking for. Uh, next, I got the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector in the color medium. Looks like this, and this is a pump. I have used this a few times and I'm really not sure if I'm going to keep this. It sits really weird on my skin. I don't know what it is, but it just, I don't think it's going to work for me. So I think I'm going to end up returning it. And then uh, I did get a little uh, VIB Rouge deal again. So they did send out a um, VIB exclusive blush. And it looks like that. It's a really pretty color and will give a really nice pop of color. Next on to probably the most expensive part of this haul, Tom Ford. And this is all because of Tati from Glam Life Guru. And I did get the Afternooner palette. Last year they did come out with it and I did pass, but this year I did go ahead and get it. You get this really beautiful compact with white and gold. And then you get a trio inside, which looks like this. It's really beautiful with all your colors in there. And I swatched this once already, but I tried to film. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go over the area that I actually wiped off. I will say, for the price, I guess I was looking for something that would just be a little bit more creamy of a texture, a little bit more buttery. But it is beautiful as far as the shades go and they're really nice. So I can't wait to actually use that on my face and just kind of see how everything blends out. Next I did get the small version of the bronzer in the color Gold Dust, so it looks like this. Again, just beautiful white and gold packaging. And this is a shimmer bronzer. It is really beautiful. This is definitely, I would say, more smooth than the uh, the Trio palette, I want to say. But that was, I think that was $68. So it's definitely high up there. But it is really beautiful. Next, I did get the St. Tropez Self Tan Untinted Face Bronzing Lotion. I've been looking for a, um, just a sunless tanning lotion for my face. I didn't have any color. Just so I could put it on at nighttime. So I'm excited to give that a try. That's the packaging. And then I did get this Laura Mercier uh, color in Devotion. It's a face illuminator. I think this is a new shade from what I, I think. I'll show you guys. So it comes in her classic, um, just kind of like that big package. I'll show you guys the product inside. So it looks like this. And this is definitely a very pink. This, on the website, I, I guess I didn't look close enough but this is definitely more of like that pink um frosted color hopefully you guys can see that there you go um it's definitely more of that frosted color so i don't know if that's going to necessarily work for me i'm kind of thinking it won't it's just got more of that frost rather than the um more of like that luminosity like that sheen which i like in a highlight frosted highlights i really don't like because they just kind of look chalky on my skin. But maybe I'll just give it a quick try and see if I like it. 
Next product is Becca came out with um, some new blushes. And first one I got is in the color Cam Camilla. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's just her standard packaging. Looks really beautiful. How gorgeous is that? It is so freaking stunning. Look at that. It's a beautiful pink shade. I have not even swatched this yet, so yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy, that is so pretty. Can you see that? I can't even get it. it my camera is not even focusing right now. But it is so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. I'm so excited to use that. And then I'll show you the next color. The next color I would say is kind of similar to that one. This is called Foxglove. I'm getting a pile up back there. But you can see kind of like in the same family of colors. That's a really close color. Oh my goodness, that's pretty though. Look at how pretty that is. And it's right there. So pretty, I think. So pretty. And then I will be doing like swatches on my Instagram, my uh, Facebook page. So if you're looking for swatches, check there. Next in the store, I picked up the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion number 20. This I'm going to be returning. It definitely was not dark enough for my skin tone at all. And I think that someone had actually used it because, what the heck, how can I not open it? There we go. I almost It almost looked like there were some like swatch marks in there. But that is the color. And I'll show you guys. Yeah, this is going to barely pick up right there you can kind of see it on there but it just I don't think that's gonna be the color for me I tried it on my skin and it just it was not showing up next I got the Sephora brush number 31 oh my gosh I should have totally opened this up and now I can't get it ah darn it okay I'll tell you a little bit about this brush in the store I use it it is the softest 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 blending brush ever I'll try to put some um, pictures on my um, my Instagram and my Facebook page this is totally on there good sorry about that um, but it is a beautiful it is so soft it's beautiful next I got the Anastasia uh, glow kit in the color that glow packaging is beautiful of course I can get it out of here. What is going on today? It's like everything is sticking. Come on out of there. I just had it out the other day. I'll just get my pile going back there. Okay, that is what the palette looks like. This is definitely more of the bronzy tones. Oh, I should have brought in something. Maybe I'll swatch it on my other hand here. I will do some swatches for you guys. So it's got some like a highlighty color. Ooh, these are really smooth. I have not swatched these before. These are pretty. And they are very soft. I don't know that this is gonna work for me though. I don't know, we'll have to give that a try. So that's what the swatches look like. For what, I, see, I, I hopefully this is in focus. I, I apologize if it's not but I can, I can hardly see it on me. They're very, very smooth and buttery though, super buttery. So I will give that a try and cross my fingers. Next, I got the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Highlighter in the color Sin. I don't need another highlighter, but this was just, I swatched it in the store. Oh my gosh, it was so smooth. <laughs> Packaging is beautiful. And there it is. It's so pretty. So smooth, too. I'm going to do... It's going to be right up here. Can you see how pretty that is? It's so pretty. And lastly, I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin a Weightless uh, Concealer in the color Light Neutral. I have used this several times, and I think this is my second or third 
repurchase, but it looks like just, just like this with the regular um, applicator like this. But it's a really nice weightless concealer, definitely weightless, and, feel, and blendability is perfect on that. But that's what I got on the VIB sale. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see swatches of anything, make sure to check out my uh, Facebook uh, page, Pink Glam XOXO. I'll have the link down below and my Instagram link as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.